Thank you so much for asking me, uh, Rob. Um, you know, it's been exciting last uh, six years building and validating the Jiva eClinical platform. Uh, what happened uh, earlier this year is we launched the enterprise uh, version as well as the more inclusive version with support for 130 languages uh, with the integration of Google Translate into the application uh, for both uh, patient engagement, but also for study management and data capture. So essentially, we have evolved into a fully comprehensive unified software platform that brings all the major uh, features necessary to execute a clinical study under one login, uh, from clinical data management, patient uh, screening and enrollment, uh, patient engagement and retention with a patient portal for omni-channel patient communication. You know. Uh, as a rare dad, myself, and a patient advocate, we have really focused on what does patient centricity truly mean in the context of clinical research and uh, built the kind of features that would really enhance and address a fundamental problem that has been plaguing the clinical trials industry, which is 90% of clinical trials happen in 5% of the countries in the world. You know, 95% of the countries are not engaged in clinical research. And if, if uh, the sponsors are very willing and uh, interested in changing that, but we lack technology solutions that fully leverage uh, AI, natural language processing, language translation, and patient engagement, which one helps keep the clinical trial infrastructure in clean order uh, for efficient patient engagement. And two, uh, engage patients in their native language uh, rather than uh, eliminating all non-English speaking uh, patients as, as part of the exclusion criteria. So I think uh, that, that's been very exciting. We have validated this platform now with numerous uh, uh, clinical trials in oncology. And so we are really excited about the Cancer Moonshot uh, initiative, uh, which really uh, uh, is what we are piggybacking. And uh, I, I think it, it's very, very well set up to leapfrog the cancer research in particular, although our platform itself is uh, disease agnostic. You know, the cancer moonshot is a um, initiative by a dad of a uh, child with cancer uh, that passed away, right? Which is President Biden, uh, and uh, so uh, it, it it was a initiative by a family member uh, in his capacity as the president, uh, launching this cancer moonshot, which is really uh, everybody agrees uh, that you know curing cancer is good for mankind and for everyone. And, and so I think the important part of cancer moonshot is cancer prevention. You know, the uh, it, it's best if we. Uh, nip the bird, uh, uh, nip the problem in its bird, uh, while uh, so, and not let it really uh, emerge into a full-blown disease and metastasize, which is when it's very hard to tackle. And and so there are cancer prevention type clinical studies that we are supporting. For example, Franz Vital Therapeutics, which is a pre-cancer uh, treatment that they are running phase two trials on. Um, that we are very excited and honored to be a partner and support. Uh, with, with the uh, data management platform and to, um, you know, debilitating diseases like uh, uh, leukemias and B-cell lymphomas, you know, uh, have a innovative therapy called uh, chimeric antigen receptor T-cell uh, treatments, the, the cell and gene therapies, which are really the bleeding edge of cancer treatment um, uh, right now. And just a couple of weeks ago, we were in Baltimore where uh, one of our collaborators from the Tata Memorial Center and the Indian uh, CAR-T therapy that got recently accolades from the president of India, Bill Gates and many others uh, who visited them uh, for bringing down the cost of CAR-T therapies by one-tenth, uh, essentially 10% of the cost of what we pay in the United States. And that's making CAR-T therapies more affordable for every uh, low and middle income countries. And so, uh, we were honored to be part of that clinical trial supporting with our software platform uh, as well. So I think between cancer prevention and cancer treatments, including the bleeding edge CAR-T therapies for um, cancers, 
is, is uh, areas where we have been part of supporting in, in terms of the overall cancer moonshot. And the FDA has uh, initiated a program called ASHA, which uh, essentially in, um, uh, encourages US-based sponsors to increase clinical trials with India. Uh, from a regulatory point of view, they are providing framework to increase representation. Because if you look at the global population, 15% of global population is Indian diaspora. Representation in clinical trials, 1.2%. And that 1.2% is because we uh, Indian diaspora represents about 1.2% of the American population, but the global population is 15%. And so that's true for many other diasporas globally, uh, where US is the melting pot of various populations. But uh, when we look at it on a global scale, so I think it's really clear that FDA, industry, patient advocates, researchers are all aligned now, and it's happening these global collaborations and cross-border collaborations are happening. So I think uh, as a technology solution provider, we are well positioned to support these initiatives that are already underway and they are happening. And, and, and what's needed is technology solutions that can scale in volume as well as inclusivity in terms of language, culture, and uh, engagement in ways in which different patients prefer to engage with the clinical trial uh, ecosystem.